Hi guys, Aaron Clark here. Hope you're all doing well today. In this video, I want to go a little bit deeper in depth with V-Ray's edge softening feature. In a previous video, I showed how I would add a little bit of edge softening to a render such as this, where I want to come in and sort of break these sharp edges here and, and give a little bit of a light reflection on those hard edges. Uh, so this is um, typically how I would render something and you can see here in my assets editor that I've got a platinum softened material and that has the edge softening applied. And so when we render that, we're going to see the light break on those edges, those hard edges there. That's going to give your render a little bit more realism and take away a little bit of, take away a little bit of that um, CG effect, I guess. And you can see there that's starting to render nicely. We're getting that little bit of light reflection as it rolls off there. Let's hop over to a blank scene. And like I said, I'm going to dive a little bit deeper in depth and show you a few different um, options that you can, you can have with the edge softening. So let's grab a cube and we're going to go 15, just 15 by 15. And we'll, we will shell that and um, we'll call that three mil, I guess. Cool. And if I hold control shift and sub select, click that bottom face, then I can just modify that. And I'm also going to hold alt while I drag, drag that out. And that's going to give me another instance. And I just want to have a little bit of intersecting geometry there. And let's grab a ground plane. And let's jump into our asset editor. Now I've got all of these um, materials that sort of load up with Rhino when I, when I fire up Rhino. I'm going to delete all of those, just purge all of them. And we'll start from scratch with a generic material. Let's hop over and turn on interactive rendering. So you'll get a live update as I as I take you through this. So we've got a generic material. We'll apply that to those two cubes. And they've come out grey, which is fantastic. And we'll, we'll change the uh, diffuse colour. We're going to crank the reflection up, turn off uncheck Fresnel. The reflection color, I'm just going to back that down a little bit to a, a more of like a sort of a steel color. And I will zoom right into uh, to this one here. So to apply the edge softening, come down here to maps, normal and bump mapping and enable that. Hit that little checkered, checkered checkbox there, scroll all the way down, and we're going to go to edges. And watch these edges here on the, uh, the render window when we click edges. That's going to update straight away, and it's going to break that edge, so you get a little bit of that, uh, that light reflection. And all of a sudden, that's a lot, got a lot more realism to it than uh, to, um, to not having that, that edge softening. And of course, we can make that a bit stronger. or weaker and you can see it's not perfect you will see these artifacts on these uh, these corners here they've got these little ears but uh, generally speaking it's a, a really nice sort of easy way to uh, to soften your edges okay let's zoom in here so we've got we've got these uh, convex as well as concave edges because well, I'll tell you what I'm gonna go back to my um, reflection I'm gonna make this um, less shiny and that's gonna sort of make it a bit easier to show uh, show the effect here that I'm going to illustrate. Uh, so back into our bump mapping. There's an option here for convex and concave and that's going to change which of those edges the edge softening is going to be applied to. So at the moment it's convex only and you can see that only the convex or the edges that roll out are affected. 
And again, we can choose concave and those internal edges there are only affected. So there may be a specific circumstance where you only need to soften the inside or the outside edges. And it's nice to know that that option is there. I'm going to switch it back to convex and concave because honestly, I rarely, uh, rarely stray from, stray from that. Now I've got two intersecting pieces of geometry here. And there's no edge softening applied uh, where those two pieces intersect. Now, of course, I could do a Boolean union, which I've just done there. And we can see the edge softening on that intersection. Now, if I control Z to undo that, that sort of freaked out there. So I'm just going to shut that down and fire that back up. And there we go. OK, so back into our normal and bumper mapping. And again, there's an option here. So we've got two separate pieces of geometry. There's an option here for same object only. And if we disable that, and because these two pieces of geometry share the same material, it is softening the edges where those two pieces intersect. And that's a really nice feature, really nice feature to have. And of course, I'm using V-Ray for Rhino. This is the same V-Ray 3.6 I'm using. This is the same if you're using V-Ray 3.6 for Max or C4D or Modo or any of those other programs that um, that matrix, uh, sorry, that that V-Ray uh, ships with or, or, or plugs into. So there's a few different options there, and um, you know it's quite handy. And again, if I jump back to this one here. You can see here that I've got separate pieces of geomet geometry here. And so when I render this, we will get a nice um, we will get a nice bit of softening on, on a few extra edges that we might not normally have. And we can see here we've we've broken these sharp edges here quite nicely. And uh, where that basket meets the bridge, we've got this sort of nice little edge softening here. Creates that nice sort of menis meniscus effect that you'd get if you were soldering that uh, onto the bridge. So that's um, that's V-Rage V-Ray's edge softening, and uh, a little bit more in depth there. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope it helps.